With Manchester United are about to sign Inter Milan's goalkeeper Andre Onana to replace the club stalwart David De Gea. Let's take a deep dive into what Manchester United can expect from their potential new signing. Using the XG metric and measured against all of the teams in the top European leagues, Onana is in the top 18% for shot stopping against expected shot stops, whilst De Gea actually falls way behind in 42nd place. This is similar when it comes to the overall sales percentages of all shots faced, with Anana again being streaks ahead. Let's take a look at some of Anana's work in the shot stopping category. In the build-up to the Champions League final between Manchester City and Inter Milan, Pep Guardiola was asked to name the most dangerous player at Inter Milan and he chose Cameroon goalkeeper Andre Onana because it is very hard to press a team when they have a goalkeeper with such good footwork. Now, when you are praised this way by Pep Guardiola, you know that you are definitely doing something right. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why Andre Onana is at the top of the Manchester United shortlist of goalkeeper targets. Now, without any further ado, let's analyze. All right, now let's look at some footage from that Inter Milan Manchester City Champions League final to try to identify what actually makes Andre Onana such a dangerous player. Now, one of the best ways you can counter teams like Manchester City, teams that press quite efficiently and effectively, is to actually go long into a target man. Of course, with Inter Milan, they have Lukaku, a player who is more than capable of playing that role. And in Onana, they have a goalkeeper who is able to deliver those balls, as is the case in this sequence right here. For example, Onana going straight long towards Lukaku. Oh, sorry, that was Lotaro Martinez. But of course, throughout the game, they will ball towards Lotaro Martinez and towards Lukaku. But the idea is there, is that when you are playing against a team that presses aggressively, such as Manchester City, try to go long in order to bypass their press. But there's also another way to bypass the press and it's actually this under onana what i like about him in this sequence and this is what makes him so dangerous look at this now for them identifies that the ball is going towards onana so he's going for an intense sprint in order to put pressure on onana now look at how onana positions his body so he positioned it as if i'm gonna pass it here towards brozovic but what he does instead look ah and then now Brozovic can actually receive the ball in this empty sp uh, sp uh, spot right here. And look, Onana did it effortlessly, completely unfazed by the intensity of that Foden sprint toward him. Because he's confident in his ability. And here now there is another example. As you can see here, Onana has the ball throughout this game. I mean, I've watched this game and uh, throughout the game, Onana had the ball for four, five, sometimes six seconds at a time without anything happening because look, the Manchester City players, they know that they cannot press him. They are scared of pressing him because he's a player who can hurt, hurt you. You are not going to get the ball off his feet. And if you can identify that key pass, he's going to actually cause you a lot of problems. So here, none of the Manchester City players are coming to him. So what he does instead, a pass between uh, the Manchester City defenders, um, uh, players, uh, Holland and Foden. This kind of pass, David De Gea would never attempt at Manchester uh, United because it's a risky pass and also he doesn't have the passing ability. But for a player like Onana, this is routine. And then now the ball goes towards Darmian and then uh, Inter Milan can actually launch their attack. Look how advanced he is and still completely unfazed by this situation. Look at how composed he is. No problem. It doesn't matter. Erling Haaland who? Doesn't matter. He is completely unfazed. He is composed in these kind of situations. Um, now, another situation completely similar to the one with Foden. Here, Holland is coming towards him. He's showing as in he's gonna pass to DeMarco over here. But what he does, beautiful technique. And then now Holland is taken out of the play. And then beautiful pass through the middle allowing Inter Milan to keep control. Manchester City were not able to press Inter Milan and to cause them to, uh, you know, and uh, win the ball back high up the pitch because of Onana. It's as if Inter Milan were actually playing with 11 outfield players. What you got going on?
So the modern goalkeeper needs to be good with their feet, with a lot of top managers enjoying a sweeper keeper as an extra body in defence. Anana really shines here and I'm convinced that this is the attribute that Ten Hag has pushed so hard to try and sign the into goalkeeper. He's got a whopping 10% increase over De Gea. On this wheel you can see how far Anana is ahead in the distribution attribute in the bottom right. Look at this, Onana with one pass, he's taking out six Manchester City players and getting the ball to the danger players, there you go. And then now Inter Milan have the edge. Now Inter Milan can actually co uh, go and cause havoc in uh, the Manchester City final third, right? He cannot do that with David De Gea because when he plays long, he just clears the ball. He plays it aimlessly. But with a player, a goalkeeper like Onana, you can actually target certain advanced players. You know, in a Manchester United context, this could be Bruno Fernandes, this could be, you know, Marcus Rashford, this could be Anthony, you know, cutting inside from the right hand side. It could make a world of difference for us next season to have a player with Onana's passing ability. He is calm on the ball and can pick a pass pretty much anywhere on the pitch to start an attack. Here again, look how high he is up the pitch. Again, completely unfazed. Look, this pass right here, most goalkeepers in the world would not attempt this pass. And by the way about this, I'm gonna show you a statistic later in the video that makes this even more impressive. Stay tuned for that one. Beautiful pass again in between the defenders. And then here again, look how advanced he is. He's playing in a defensive midfielder position. Every time he has the ball, and this is Manchester City, one of the best teams, actually the best team in the world this season, and a team that are known for pressing really high and really aggressively, playing a high defensive line, squeezing teams into their own half. And yet, look at Onana, where he's touched the ball in this number six position quite a few times this game, and it's a Champions League final. Again, look how composed he takes his time, makes sure that he's getting the right pass, and then again, beautiful pass towards Lukaku, you know, using the target man quite effectively and that's it 